All right, everybody. Hey, we're going. We're we're live. It's Friday, July sixteenth, two thousand one, and we're live, full live. It's Carter Wall in just a few minutes. Lawrence St. Victor will be here, and uh, yeah, it was another busy, busy week on the Bolton Beautiful. Uh, it looks like uh, Liam is um, done with prison, and it looks like possibly Carter is going to be done with Quinn. Is this the end of quarter? I we're gonna find out when we ask Lawrence what's going on with that. And um, also, we want to thank you all for subscribing. We hit 200,000 subscribers. That's a big deal for us here at Bold and Beautiful. And we want to thank all of you for watching. And uh, yeah, let's start Bold Live. Hi, how's everybody? I'm gonna give everybody a second to come in. And um, I want to say hi, Rebecca and Lunar and Kyle. And who do we got here? Sophia, Shelly, everybody, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is a, a lot of fun. This is our fifth episode. Uh, Bolt Live, and we had zero technical difficulties last week, and we also, you know, had did not have Don Demon on the show, and I, so I'm, I'm, I'm certain that that was the technical problem was Don Diamant, and um, uh, so glad we got that fixed. How's everybody doing? All right, hello from Australia. Wow, Missy Moo, nice to see you, Angie. Yeah, if you, if you have questions, please, um, you may want to type them a couple of times because the comments go by super fast and we, we miss them. And I want to make sure that if you have a comment or, or just a compliment, you know, go ahead and feel free to type that up. Um, and so I want to get to our, our I want to get to welcoming our guests. You know, in, the, in this business, they always say like, oh, so-and-so is such a nice guy. Like that person is so nice. This person actually I, really is nice. I've known him for about eight years now. He's been on The Bold and the Beautiful. And I can honestly say he is like the nicest, kindest, big-hearted guy you're going to meet. And, um, and we're just so lucky to have him. And uh, so without further ado, let's welcome Lawrence. Lawrence, how are you? Man, what a what a warm welcome! Thank you very much, and congratulations, dude! Two hundred thousand subscribers. Two hundred thousand, isn't that awesome? That's you know, crazy I, man, I, that's I, fantastic. I, uh, I wanted to kick that off. I've got a confetti can in here, so I thought maybe <laughs> I don't. I, I'm I'm here at my office, right? We're on hiatus right now, so uh -oh. um, uh, we're we're not in production. But I I'm I'm here in the office because uh, this is this is the Bold Live Studios headquarters and uh i'm gonna launch this and then i'm gonna have to probably clean it up but here why don't you give me a yeah countdown. you will <laughs> give me a countdown like three two one right. and then i'll then i'll two hundred thousand let's do it okay two hundred thousand three two one whoa okay, um, okay. so <laughs> i don't know if you saw that maybe you heard it but it all went that way and um well, you have a nice I, to clean up, brother. Oh my goodness! I should probably <laughs> I should probably show you what just happened. Hold on, can I do this? Yeah. There, there's there's the confetti mat. There, it's all there. It is. Uh, we did it. Two hundred thousand. Okay. See, that's commitment, ladies and gentlemen. That's that, commitment right there. He has to commitment. clean all that up after. <laughs> oh boy. I should have I should have maybe come back to it because I went right over the camera. Anyway, okay. <laughs> so. Are you getting, are you get? You, you've been very busy here at Bold and Beautiful these last couple of months. Have you been getting yeah. some, uh, some good rest with you and your family? No, man. Cause now it's full on daddy duty and all the stuff I should have taken care of around the house doing it now, but it's, but it's, but it's wonderful work just getting to be with my son more and yeah. with my wife and my parents were in town this week. So, so it's been great. Excellent. Excellent. And, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. Who's cleaning that up? That's a good question. You know what? I'm just gonna keep it, keep it that way, because this is we're celebrating. We're celebrating. Um, celebrating, man. I only got some in my my coffee, my bold and beautiful mug. Uh, now, now, Lawrence, I've known you a long time, but I, I don't know what got you interested in acting. Like, when did you, when did you decide I want to be an actor? That's a good question, man. Like, I, I didn't have any actors in my family or anyone in 
the industry like that. So growing up, I always loved movies and TV. And when I would play with my toys, I would like create scenes and scenarios that were more cinematic. So I was always drawn to it. In high school, I saw they were doing plays and I wanted to do it, but I was playing sports. So it wasn't until junior college where I was like, you know what? I'm going to become a performing arts major. I'm going to jump all the way in. If I hate it, I'll stop. If I love it, I'll keep going. And I loved it. Did like eight plays in junior college, then went away to a conservatory and just kept on. But I just loved watching TV and movies, man. Well, you are, well, you definitely have this, the talent. And, and, and wow. uh, I think our fans enjoy watching you. Um, and, I, and I promised myself, I'm not going to ask you any questions about, you know, being shirtless or your body. Like, <laughs> this is a classy show. I don't want to get, I don't want to ask anything about that. Um, but um, I'm not going to ask about it, but maybe I'll show it. So I'm going to show a clip. Oh, here we go. I'm going to show a clip. <laughs> this is, this is, uh, okay, I'm gonna, let's just show the clip. Slowly, I see. I need softly drawn in to the touch of your skin, irresistible skin. So, I, 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 before we, before I go any further, I just want the, the, you know, kind of behind the scenes. That was the first uh, love scene yeah. uh, post pandemic where we had actors actually physically touching and, and making out. So what did that mean to you? Dude, at first it was when we got news, we were going to do this. It was great to be the first ones to kind of do this, but it was also like, nerve wracking because it's like i haven't hugged anyone or sh i haven't shaken anyone's hand mm -hmm. since like almost a year so i just nervous that I, it would feel awkward or weird but rena and i we had our each other's back and and, and Cindy, she directed that day and it was just amazingly comfortable but leading up to it i was worried like i haven't even been we've been eight feet away this whole time right. shooting i'm like what's it gonna be like even just face to face but, but it turned out really well and that music casey that music is fire oh on that well, scene man uh thank you i i i, I had the opportunity to uh write a song for the show that song was called our story begins and um yeah no it's i just wrote to what i was looking at and you guys man. you and you and and Narina, carter and quinn or as the fans call them quarter now quarter <laughs> i what how did you find out that uh, the writers were going this direction. Did, did was there a phone call? Did you just read it in the script? What what was your Brad, Brad gave me a call. Yeah, Brad gave me a call. It was a, a little bit after the official Zoe Carter breakup. Brad gave me a call, and he didn't have any like story. He didn't tell me any story. He just said thinking about doing Carter and Quinn, and I immediately was like, "What?" And like, that's brilliant because. I had no idea where it would go. Like the sky's the limit, it can go anywhere. And I, and I love that about that. So I was like, yes, Brad, that's fantastic. I can't wait to see what that journey is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was totally unexpected because I remember I had a you know, friend ask and I'm like, well, I can't tell you, but there's gonna be a pairing that you'll never, never see coming. And, and to be on a show that's been on this long and to have a pairing that no one can predict that's amazing, man. Mm -hmm. Well, and it was just so like so great that it was all there. That how you know your your character has a, a uh, the CFO position at Forrester, and 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 you've been the minister for all the weddings, and you know like <laughs> you're you're you're. It's like something was brewing there. But my yeah. my thing, I was like, well, I I we you know I we can assume that maybe they. Quinn and Carter have had each other's eye at different events, you know, and maybe it just, it was always there. We just didn't see it. And then this, this, it took this thing. And I thought it was just so great how Quinn was going there to fight for Zoe, you know, for you yeah. guys to get back together. <laughs> and then she was like, well, wait a minute. I want a little bit of Carter for myself. 
Man, yeah, like rule of thumb, do not send your very attractive friend over to your ex's place to fight on your behalf because you just never know <laughs> what might happen. <laughs> I just want to read some of these comments. Mona says, I hope you realize that you are the hottest actor on TV ever, right? Oh, Mona, thank And Joseph you so much. says, uh, Rena plus Lawrence equals Rawrence. I hadn't heard that. Ooh, we we normally use good. push names with the characters' names, not their real names. But okay, <laughs> Rawrence. I can go with that. Yeah. Um, uh, yes. And and MMW says it was scandalous. Yes, very scandalous. So, but it's this very scandalous. But on on today's show that just aired here in the United States, uh, you're you're kind of telling Quinn you have this ultimatum from Eric that you know you yeah. Carter wants to do the right thing, which is what's so great about Carter, which is which was what got people caught off guard is because you've always been <laughs> this like moral compass of the show. And then mm -hmm. it was like, bro, bro. And mm -mm. but, you know, <laughs> after all these years, come on. So so but now but now you're trying to like write the ship and say, you know, I want to be there. I want to be there for the Foresters. They've been there for me. And yeah. then Quinn tries to leave. But you're like, oh, well, wait a minute. See, ah, man, it's messy, right? So I think with Carter, he's a good guy, but it takes effort. Like, he he chooses to do the right thing. But when Zoe broke his heart and, and, and tried to seduce one of his best friends, the thing that makes Carter tick got all messed up. His ability to, to see right from wrong, his moral compass is all turned because of the heartbreak. So now it's like... I can try to be good, but I'm miserable. I come home, I'm alone, I'm reminded about this thing with right. Zoe, I'm embarrassed. And then here's this one thing in my life that actually makes me feel good. And it's not even like a one and done thing. Like every time Carter sees Quinn, he starts feeling better. So it's one of those things where it's like, do I take the high road and be miserable? Or do I just give in to this feeling good and feeling wanted. And I think that's his tug of war. It's like, he knows it's wrong, but it feels right. But what's right feels wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that, that's so that's much true. fun to play. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at a clip from today's air show, actually. Oh. I feel guilty, Quinn. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I didn't lose anything and you lost so much. No, no, no guilt. I think about you all the time. How you're hurting. And I know you're strong, but this has got to be brutal, and I want to make it better. I want to take you in my arms. I want to hold you. I want to tell you that it's going to be okay. But I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm... Eric's attorney, I'm handling his divorce from you, and I, I shouldn't be talking to you about this, right? Okay, so I got to ask, this job must pay a lot of money at Forrester. <laughs> For the first time, Carter's in, in love or has a romantic, uh, but but the job is important. You're, you're, you're you know, that's uh must be a real, he it's, must have a lot of stock options or something like that. A lot of stock options, a lot of, you know, but it, it, it's like the job represents family, right? Ridge, mm -hmm. Eric, like they're, they're his family, his, his, you know, not blood, of course, but they're his family. Mm -hmm. And to be in with them and to be trusted is being a part of the family. But at the end of the day, when he's heartbroken and alone in that loft, there's only one person mm -hmm. that makes him feel wanted and valued. Yeah. So what do you do? Casey, what do you do, man? I don't know, but you're writing that line really well. You're playing both both <laughs> sides of the of both sides of the quarter, shall I say. Very Ooh, well. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, that was I like so, that. So now um if, if people follow you on social media, they know that you love superheroes and like you're you're oh. number one superhero, Superman. And yeah. And, and uh, there it is back there. And I and I thought it'd be fun to like pull your very first a clip from your very first episode because it's fun to like look back and like look how young we look. Okay. Oh yeah. You, you look the same. You don't. You have. Uh, you, you look exactly the same. Um, or even yeah. better. So for the for the fans Grace. watching, 
I want <laughs> well fatherhood, right? I guess I, I want to play go. a clip from your very first episode. All right, take a look. Man, this woman is incredible. The most honest, generous, Texas crystalline. Brave, she married you, didn't she? Oh, it's good. <laughs> How'd that happen anyway? You landing a woman like her? I don't know, big bro. Wow, I guess wow, I'm wow. Lucky man. <laughs> the, oh I, man, that's that, so that was cool. so great to see. And I, I, I remember, like, you, boom, you just came to town to visit your brother, Marcus, played by yeah. Battle, and uh, yeah. um, and you kind of you stayed. <laughs> I just stayed. Yeah, I just came to visit him. I wasn't coming for a job. I was just coming to meet him and, you know, meet Eric, the rest of his, you know, family, and so I ended up staying. And then, and then, um, you, 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 you were a lawyer, but then you, you had aspirations to be an actor, as everyone who comes to Hollywood does wants to be an yeah, actor. It's Hollywood, man. And that was, <laughs> and and um, that was a lot of fun with you and uh, Carla Mosley that you guys created the the roommate. Kind of the series that was on the show. We did that to get yes, in an actual series. Yeah, and I don't know if the fans watching remember that roommate, but we, uh, you guys actually wrote eight episodes uh, as like of a web we series. We did, and you, you and Carla, produced. You produced. Yeah, I got to produce with you guys, which was awesome. And and then you and Carla also have other uh, projects that you guys have created together. Yeah, we um we made Weblock a web series before we got the Bulls and the Beautiful, and then. After roommate, we decided to revisit the material, and of course, technology is all updated. So we kind of we made six more episodes of Wedlock, and that can be found online on YouTube. So uh, your the the Wedlock's on YouTube. So yeah, yeah. Watching, type in sure Wedlock. Look that up if you like Lawrence and uh, Carla Mosley together. You can check that out. Wedlock. I highly recommend. It's very very funny about marriage life. Um, yes. <laughs> so. So uh, I think it would be fun now if we open up the phone lines and let some of the uh, the fans who are watching call in. So boom, there's the fan line. You guys know the drill. Go ahead and call that number, and uh, we'd love love to answer your questions. So now while they're calling in, um, I just also wanted to ask you, Lawrence. So you're not just a a uh, a pretty face on the show. Uh, you also are a writer. For the bold and the beautiful. Yeah. I don't know if the fans know this, but you've written quite a few episodes for the show. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's 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 been awesome. And our writers, for you guys, for those who don't know, our writers are like our unsung heroes, led by Brad and and Michael Minnis. Like they they set the foundation, they set the standard, and those scripts, they're pumping those scripts out so fast. It, it's it's crazy, and it, it's been awesome being a part of that team and just to learn the show in a different way. Right. All right. Well, we got a caller. I'm going to uh, let's see who's there. Hi. Welcome to Bold Live. Hello. Oh, they're probably listening to us. Hello. Are you there? Oh, yeah. I may have to hang up. Oh, see. Oh, now they're now they're there. There you go. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm sorry. I, I still had you guys playing. Hi, okay. Casey. Hi, Lawrence. Hey, welcome. Hi, how Hello. are you? This is Sam from Florida, and I have a storyline idea. Oh, pitch okay. I would really like for Marcus to come back because he's Justin's son and also mm. Carter's adopted brother. So just leave that out there in the atmosphere that's all i wanted to say um lawrence keep doing a great job i'm loving Quinn and quarter and um oh, thank I'll see you. you guys on monday uh thank you you're sam. welcome bye guys bye sam thank you so bye. much bye oh, that's all a right. good pitch yeah that's okay a good pitch <laughs> let's see who's coming in next i don't want to, I don't want to accidentally hang up on somebody hi welcome uh -oh. to bold live Hi, good evening. Hi. Hey, who's this? Where are you hey. calling from? Hi, my name is Mel and I'm calling from New York City. Oh, welcome. Mel yep. from New York, man. What's up? Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Casey. Hi, Lawrence. How you doing? Hey, man, we're good. How you doing? 
You know what I would tell you? I'm, I'm happy. I, I, call, I just came in from work, whatever. So I, was, I caught this show on right now. It's like, okay, it's great. So you know what? For me, I love Rena Solfer. I loved her since she was under your hospital. So to see her mm-hmm. and you sort of have this sort of surprise storyline is wonderful. And again, uh, for you specifically, Lawrence, like you've done the show for, uh, you know, all these years and you had, you know, the character has so many different um, attempts at romance, and then the storyline got real big this year, and then it switched to this. So, I, my question for you is like, how do you feel after sort of being there so long to have like this front burn a storyline? Like specifically, no mistakes. There's no, you know, like you go into the back, you know, to the background. You're really front burner, and it's continuing to go. How does it feel? You know, because you know, with um, Carter's history it was not that way. So, how does it feel for you to really have this strong front burn storyline after all these years? Dude, I'm having so much fun. Uh, I'm very grateful. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm happy that everyone's enjoying the story, and and I love working with Rena and with John. And of course, I've worked mm-hmm. with Torsten before a lot, and I'm having a ball, bro. I'm I'm, I'm very happy. Well, Mel, thank well, you know what? It thank was... you, Mel. Oh, I just want to get to some you. other callers before we have to end, but thank you so much for calling. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's great. All right, let's see who's next. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. Hi, how are you? Good. Hello. This is our number one this fan. This is from Rebecca. San, from San Clemente. Yep, it is. Hey, Rebecca. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Rebecca. Hey. You've, hey, Lawrence, been, how think, are you? I think you've been a part I'm of well. every show. And, 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 and you know what? Lawrence has seen every show. So this is good. I it's have. I've, I've watched every show. <laughs> What's up? What's up? How's it going? What do you have a question um, for Lawrence? My mom and I, Linda, have been watching you since you were Remy on Guiding Light, and uh, we want to know what you. was your first acting gig that you ever had. Hmm. My first acting gig was an extra mm-hmm. on Guiding Light when I was really? 18 oh, years was. old. About oh, wow. five years before I was Remy, I was in the background at company at the diner with a cup of coffee, oh. doing way too much to be an extra. Like I was, I was doing too much to be, like just breaking all the rules. We're acting too big to be in the background. But yeah, guiding light was wow. my first one. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, we just yeah. love you and Quinn on the show. You're a gorgeous couple. I hope you guys get together again. Uh, By the look we'll of see. Today's episode, I think you will. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gonna get a little messy. <laughs> all right, thank nice you. Nice to Rebecca. talk to you. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. You too. Bye bye. 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 Well, that's great. Well, okay, I think we have time for one more. Yeah. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. Hi. Hi. Who's this? Where Hello. are you going from? Uh, my name is Melissa. I'm calling from Montreal, Canada. Oh, hello, uh, Melissa Canada. From uh, Canada. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a big fan of the show. I've been watching... Um, on and off for like 20 years. And um, mm. I know you're also uh, writing for the show, um, Lawrence. So I was wondering if you could play any character uh, other than Carter, regardless of race, age, um, gender, which one would it be? Man, when you say play like for a day or like for the next forever, or do you mean like for a day? For a day, let's say. For, for a day. day, okay. My usual answer is Bill, but I would love to play Steffi in that episode when she backslapped Liam. Remember that? When she just said, "Bam!" <laughs> I love that was such a strong moment. She was so fierce. So, so Steffi in that moment, I thought would be dope. But it's usually Bill. I would love to play Bill for a day. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you, Melissa, okay, for great calling. Answer. Thanks. Love you right. guys. Bye bye. Love you. All right. We do have time for one more. We've got a lot of people yeah. on the phone line, so I want to take one. Hi. Welcome to Bold Live. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Um, uh, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, I have a question. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, did you ask for my name where I was from? Well, exactly. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> go ahead. You know how it goes. 
<laughs> Sorry, my name's Lorraine from uh, Raleigh, Lorraine. North Carolina. Lorraine, did you say? Lorraine. Yeah. Welcome. Yes. Say hi to Lawrence. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hi, Lawrence. <laughs> How are you? Uh, I'm good. How about you? I'm well. I'm good now. How are you? How, what's going on? I'm, uh, I actually, well, one thing I want to say, I'm a big fan. I've been watching you since I was like 19. And uh, that was a while ago. And I was wondering, how are you able, how many, uh, I was wondering, since you are a, help write and you're acting, um, how mm -hmm. many pages do you actually have to write? And how many pages do you have to memorize on a daily basis? And how are you juggling all that with your family? That's an amazing question. Um, on the heaviest week, I've shot like eight episodes and had to write an episode. So that would be like, writing an episode could be anywhere from 36 to 41 pages. And Ooh. being an episode, it's like, you issue two episodes a day. So cut out my scenes on a heavy day, that could be about 15, 17 pages. Um, give or take. So you just take it one day at a time, man. You kind of know ahead of time what the next week may look like. And you kind of know this is going to be a week where you kind of have to focus. My wife is amazing. So on those weeks, she has my back. You know, she she supports me and, you know, she, she'll she'll do double duty with our son because she knows it's like it's one of those weeks. But yeah, it's one day at a mm -hmm. time. Well, Lorraine, thank you thank for being you a so fan. Much. Thank you for calling thank in. Thank you. Oh, all right. Thank you. Bye -bye. I have to laugh. I was looking at the comments when we were doing that, and Mona says the only thing she doesn't like about the phone calls is that it reduces uh, Lawrence's box size. She can't see enough. Of oh, it. so oh, she what? I and I wish I <laughs> thank could, you, you know, Mona. I, I I could just get out of frame so you, maybe you could just see all we, of Lawrence. Casey, we need you here, man. You're the yes. captain of this whole okay. ship. Well, you, what one question I wanted to bring up because um, you brought up uh, your lovely wife Shay and uh, she helps mm. you. What was her reaction to this storyline, <laughs> and did she see the episode? Episodes, I should you, say. Of the way you're talking about the one, the the the, the first like love scene that yes, that, yes, man. Well, her reaction to the storyline was the same one as mine, like Carter and Quinn. <laughs> And I'm like, exactly. You can't, you don't know where it's gonna go. She's like, okay. And then when she saw that episode, she was like, that's hot. Nice. Like, I know, that's, yeah. that's hot. And I think it wasn't so much just the love scene, but just the will they won't they leading all the way up to the love scene. Uh -huh. You know, she was like, that's hot, that's hot. And she, she's been an actress, so she gets okay. that it's movie magic. She yeah, gets yeah, like, yeah. You, Everything that to make it look real and effortless takes a lot of work. So she gets that, but she thought it was hot. That's very cool. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, Lawrence, I want to thank you for being a guest here today on our episode number five, celebrating two two hundred thousand plus subscribers. Um, two hundred thousand. I've got a lot of confetti in my office to clean up, so that'll be fun later. But um, <laughs> I will you please come back another time and hang out with the fans. Please do. I mean, I feel like there's so many questions. I didn't even get a chance to look. So I'm sorry if I didn't answer your questions, guys. But uh, well, if you want to, I'm you on wanna, social media. If you want to go through some of these uh, comments on the uh, the feed and just sit, shout yeah. out to people, I'll... just some shout outs. Um, Sarah Perkins says, "Can Carter and Justin start their own company like Hamilton and Winters on uh, 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 YNR?" Oh, that's a Casey question. That's a Casey Brad question. Like, you know, you might have to pitch that. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty fun. Uh, yeah. Uh, why is Carter shirtless? MMW says, why is Carter shirtless all the time? Not complaining. It's very hot in LA. It's mm -hmm. swelteringly hot. So why why wear clothes if you don't if you don't have to? Um, do maybe one more. It's gonna randomly scroll. Uh, wow! Uh, if you see one case, you can shout well, it's it out. Just, I just, they, I just want you to get a chance to see all the comments, and just to let the fans know too that they, they kind of, they stay on our YouTube page when you watch it. So if we don't see them, we go back and reread them, and um, absolutely, we, we appreciate all the feedback that you have to say. And um, uh, is there anything you can tease us about what's coming up for Carter? 
Yeah, man. I mean, if whoever, if you guys saw today's episode, then you know that Carter is, is in a very dangerous space right now. And he's literally jumping back into a fire. He said he wouldn't. So I think we're going to get kind of that fun thing that we had with Carter and Quinn in the beginning of this whole thing. And then watching them juggle is going to be amazing. I can't give anything away, but it's, it's going to be but a fun summer. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> but there's, so there's something for your quarter fans coming up. So stay tuned. Yeah. You'll, you'll, it's it's going to be fun. All right. Well, Lawrence, have a, have a great rest of your, uh, your Friday and kick off to the weekend and please say hello to your, to your wife for me. And, um, I'll see you in a few weeks back here at the studio. Yes, sir. Back to work. Have a good one, Casey. All right. Thank you, Lawrence. Peace. Oh. Boom. Well, see, was I was I right or not? He he's the world's nicest guy. He's super cool. Like, he's we're just just makes it just he's the kind of guy you gotta want to hang out with. Um, he's just a great guy. And um very, very, very excited to see what happens with Carter coming up. Um, and I appreciate all your comments. Um, I was, they, they come by quick. I'm reading them and I'm taking note, taking mental note. Um, I saw a lot of comments about the music on the show and um, I will hopefully try to get the songs that we featured on the show, um, you know, on our website so that you can download them or put them on iTunes again. I saw a comment about um, Standing With You and that song that played in the Carter Quinn love scene was um, uh, Our Story Begins. So I really want to make sure to share that music with all of you. That's kind of a, a hidden thing that I get to do for the show is write music and um, very appreciative. But of course, when you have people like Lawrence St. Victor and Rena Sofer acting in a scene, I mean, they're the ones who are making the beautiful music. I just make some lyrics and put it all together. So anyway, I really, um, uh, I'm excited to have all of you guys back. This is, uh, this is going to be an, uh, uh, a reoccurring show that we're going to do every Friday, unless it's a holiday or something, then maybe we probably won't do it on a holiday, but this is a show we're going to do every Friday. So please put, put this in your phone Fridays, seven o'clock Eastern, four, four o'clock Pacific, um, subscribe subscribe that's how you'll get the notification that we're going live with the show and um you know the more of you that join the bigger and better the show will become so uh until next time i'm casey kasperzik uh supervising producer for the bold and the beautiful and your host of bold live and i want to remind you all to be bold be beautiful and be back here next friday on youtube have a great weekend everyone